Hey, it's Jerome from North Kentucky Preparedness. Um, my friend TJ from the Squid and Bear channel, uh, formerly known as NTX Mag, uh, has done a few videos uh, talking about uh, not having a resupply. And this is, uh, uh, and I actually did one recently, pretty much that, that was the focus of the video, talking about. Uh, not having a resupply in, in, in whatever situation it may be. Um, this bag I am building, um, this is a this is a, a, a military surplus bag that somebody had uh, torn apart, stripped down, uh, and and, uh, and and pretty much uh, dismantled there all the all the pieces out of it. And I picked up this bag for five dollars. So, I, I couldn't beat the deal, I couldn't pass it up, and, but I figured I'd have to do something with it. Uh, I figured uh, I wanted to do something with it to uh, just have the bag still and, and be able to make it, per make it a purposeful, uh, useful bag. And I decided to uh, make a, a, a basically like a, a base camp shelter type of uh, setup for the for this for basically for myself uh, for a, for an individual person um, with uh, a longer uh, sustainment longer uh, quality of life uh, than just then basically this one bag which I pretty much put together for search and rescue can do now you know I'm not going uh, really trying to get into um, uh, uh, like like uh, uh, I'm trying to more or less get into everyday situations and not like uh, uh, the, the, the dark crazy uh, scenarios zombie apocalypse thing like that so <clears throat> I have search and rescue bag uh, and and this is the the longer Sustainment pout bag for that for that uh, for that setup that I'm building. Um, I am going to probably put two sustainment pouches uh, on either side of that, and uh, sustainment pouches like this one here, the standard. Uh, I think eight eight inches by uh, like uh, what was it? about eight inches. So uh, was it? No. All right. Yeah, I guess ten inches by eight inches by about four inches. Sorry. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, is about. Uh, I think this bag is, is about 500 uh, cubic inches uh, I th uh, from from uh, what I've been told before um, but I'm just showing this bag for uh, purposes of, of ba basically being able to see it better than the uh, the wilderness color but if I get um, this bag uh, with more capabilities more uh, sustainable uh, capabilities um, to be able to sustain a quality, a good quality of life, uh, a reasonable quality of life for for a longer time period. Um, I, I think that I, I think that's the best uh, thing I can think of, the best um, thing that that can be put together, and and. I guess it, it doesn't matter if uh, you or I, uh, TJ, had uh, talked about possibly uh, like a ham radio operator um, that is going to help out for an emergency situation. You, you can't really help anybody out if, if, if after, you know, two or three days uh, that, that you're in a point of distress yourself. Uh, how much are you, how much of a help you're going to be if you're a burden on others <clears throat> and um, but 
in the same sense, not everybody that shows may show up to that situation may be set up um, in, in a good way. So you may actually have to burden yourself and extending yourself to help others. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Um, but uh, in this bag, um, I am going to put, I have uh, two uh, seven foot by nine foot tarps yeah two uh seven foot by nine foot tarps a uh like a moving blanket uh a uh some paracord uh some more food and some sustainment pouches another uh, uh a longer term uh water system uh, probably gonna be one of the Sawyer models models um, and what else um, just just little stuff to be able to uh, enhance the quality of life so when I'm finally done with that build um, I'll, uh, I'll probably post it and uh, show show it off um, the next video I'm probably going to shoot is talking about uh, some of the bags I have um, and some of the builds I'm doing um, thanks for watching